Uh, I'm Yong Manchi, I'm the director of the film uh, Where the Road Meets the Sun. Um, the film is about strangers and who, 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 whose path, who cross path in um, a rundown hotel in Los Angeles and uh, form unlikely uh, bond. My character's called Guy. He's a bit of a, as we say in England, a ragamuffin. A bit of a sort of out, down and out guy. I mean, he's rich, his family's rich, but he's kind of estranged from his father. Um, he likes to sleep with any girl that breathes effectively. But he does have standards, I just want to say that, massively. He's rather charismatic, he's rather charming. I'm playing Julio. Julio is a Mexican guy who just uh, came to LA uh, with a really strong idea of being working really hard so he can uh, bring uh, his wife and kid as soon as possible, but he crossed the border, uh, uh, crossed the border um, illegally, so he wants to do the same for uh, his family. And uh, then uh, he uh, meets this guy, which, I mean, he's just like parrying, so, and Juli is just like trying to uh, be focused on what he's doing here in the States. So uh, there are like many uh, trouble in between. Uh, the uh, time starts uh, passing by and like these both characters are just like getting in so much trouble. I was um, William Lee's ex-girlfriend and that was when he was back in Japan. I didn't have a I didn't have a major role, I was just a supporting actress, but my role had a crucial part in the story. Because of me, he left to LA and met these people, and um, he got a new outlook on life and everything, so, yeah. The great thing about all the characters are, they are all charismatic, uh, but they're not overconfident, and they have a massive vulnerability to them, which I think is conveyed quite, which is well shown on screen which I think all the actors really, really did a fantastic job of. And that's why I think the characters really come out, is because you have this showy side and then you can really look at them and see that there's a lot of sort of sub big subtext under underlying there. Munchi was very sneaky, because when we first got cast, she picked Fernando and I up and she took us to downtown LA, to, to Mexico, to Little Mexico. And she said, right, I'm gonna drop you here and leave you here and you're gonna to have to buy a, um, a green card, a fake green card. Now in my country, that's, I've never heard of that. You know, I was like, what the hell are you talking about? So we walked in the streets of Little Mexico down Alvarado Street, and we were being offered you know, IDs, passports, everything. I could have changed my name to Julio. I mean, yeah, every, you know, it was nuts. So we were walking, and this one guy says, hey, I can get you a green card. I looked at him, he looked at me, and we were like, okay. Went downstairs into this little shop. They're about to take photos of, of us, and they said, you know, $800. We were like, um, sure, yeah, yeah, we got that. I'm thinking we need to get the hell out of here right now. Um, we, we said, oh, we'll be back in a minute. We just need to get the money. They followed us to the ATM. We then had to hide in a Ross Dress for Less um, uh, changing room for 20 minutes. So it was a great way to get to know each other in such a confined space. And we got to prepare for the film. So when we actually did the scene where I buy the green card, we knew exactly like the fear and the anticipation. Um, yeah, absolutely. Uh, the script was written in 2006. Um, at the time, you know, after 9-11, I felt like uh, LA has changed a little bit and, you know, people are closing their doors to people different from themselves. And uh, it was a very sad thing. And I wanted to do a story that is contrary to that, to, a story that is slightly more hopeful and focus on friendships between people who are very different. So that was how it got started. So this is the place where there are so many different culture and, and, and it's very exciting, it's very interesting, it's segregated yet but you know it's, uh, it's also, I feel like this is the right place for a story like that. And mind you, coming from Singapore, it's also a multicultural uh, country, you know, so it's all sort of related. I, I thought it would be more interesting, sort of, you know, you are looking at the, you know, when you when you look at a picture, when you look at a subject, you can either uh, look at the negative space or the positive space, and in the end, it's about America, you know. Uh, even though I'm portraying people who are uh, outsiders and uh, foreigners, and and they, it gives a really good sense of uh, what's going on here.
also being an outsider myself, uh, the perspective is true to me. So.